Welcome back guys, it's your host Angel here. Um, today I'm going to go over, I already did a review on this, but I'm, uh, I just got over about, it's probably closer to like uh, 1100 rounds, but a, a thousand round review of the Rock Island FSHC, the uh, double stack nine mil. Um, just to, uh, clear it up real quick. Um, I'm not really gonna go over like the specs. I'm just really gonna go over like what my thoughts and impressions are on it and how it's performed and how it holds up against like the other um, 20, 2011s or um, double stack nine mils out there. Um, and after, I'll be honest, this thing after putting a couple rounds or about like that 1100 uh, number, um, it's actually holds up very well. Um, I know a lot of my buddies and even um, some of my friends that have 2011s that compared it, they, at first, they kind of, like, made fun of it because it's like, oh, it's a Rock Island because, yeah, um, you know, most Rock Islands are very cheap um, and, like, more of, like, a budget kind of gun. Um, but, you know, I, I obviously told them, like, my, my one friend has a uh, Staccato P and, you know, I told him to try this baby out and he, he actually liked it almost like the same or if not better uh than his staccato obviously he probably has a bias but um this thing like performance wise it like handles very well he said it actually handles better than his staccato um and that's mostly because of the weight of it um it is a lot heavier than a regular staccato um and even like the, the new prodigy that just came out the springfield prodigy um that thing is nice though the grip on that is is very comfortable um, obviously the, the, I went in my review, I went over like the grip, um, is kind of big for people with smaller hands. Um, for me, obviously this one feels comfortable. I have no problem gripping it. Um, even with a high grip, uh, even engaging the safety, like my finger doesn't really, um, get in the way. Um, so this pistol for me is like pretty like perfect. Um, another thing is the, the magwell, um, that's, the one thing I really, really like, uh, it hasn't like, it, it did start coming a little loose. Um, the screw right here, um, did start coming loose. So it started waddling. Um, most likely it was because of the fact, and that was like before I even was in my break in. Um, so I, I can tell that this probably wasn't just screwed on properly in the factory. Um, so I just tightened it down and ever since I tightened it down, it hasn't wobbled since. Um, and like the accuracy of it, it, it hasn't, um, you know, failed me yet. Uh, I've been shooting usually with this, obviously, since it's a little heavier, I shoot uh, a little farther, um, more like competition ranges, like, uh, 15 to even 25, um, 25 yards, um, just to, like, push the limits of it, uh, because I know, like, the, at that range with 9 mil, it's kind of, you know, like, why, you know, I'd rather, uh, do something else with it or use a different caliber, but, you know, this thing is definitely, like, you can definitely push that extra limit, um, you probably even push like 30 to even 40, uh, with this, especially if you know how the, how to compensate for it. Um, the, the sights, um, I do, I do not mind the white dot rears. I'm going to switch it out eventually. Um, I don't mind it or I might just uh, like color it in with like a Sharpie or like a marker or something like that. Um, the fiber optic front it's still good. Um, it's probably easy to see here. Um, it's like in a sunlight or a light scenario, like you can pretty much see that it's glowing, but, uh, I could tell that even out of the box, it was a little faded. And even now it's, it's still bright enough to use it, but it's not as bright as it should be. And that's probably something I would uh, want to change out. And I know like over more use and time, um, it's definitely going to, um, fade out uh magazine this thing is actually awesome this is probably one of the best magazines i've actually seen like out of the factory because um some companies they have magazines that the spring like once you get to the bottom it's like really really hard to actually load it uh like manually because this one i don't even need a speed loader or assist like a sister or anything i just use my hands and i can get it all the way to the very top like the only the, the only one where it's like kind of difficult to get in is literally the last round, which is the 17 putting in that 18 round. 
um that's like when it really gets tough other than that it's like you can literally blow this thing no problem um you don't have to like force it down sometimes or it's really really struggling to get in um this thing is still uh super smooth even like i was I, I was pretty much predicted that over like shooting a thousand rounds it's probably um gonna get like dirty and caked up and probably the springs are gonna become less and less over time because all the carbon build up in there but it actually is like the same it hasn't really changed because uh, i haven't cleaned this uh, i haven't taken apart yet and cleaned the, the internals yet and like the spring and stuff so uh, i'm trying to keep it like original uh so i so i can actually give a good accurate like thousand round without cleaning review um i did clean the the barrel um a couple times but um just to like see the only thing that hasn't really changed um which i thought it was going to change over the break-in was the slide so when i first bought it um i can even show you right here um it doesn't lock to the rear even with the magnum the the slide just doesn't lock, and it locks there but um it almost never locks to the rear when you're done firing uh, so when you empty that last round it'll never lock to the rear like this it'll always just go to the forward position um which i mean it isn't a bad thing per se um it's just that you know for me especially like when you're shooting it's a nice visual visual representation that you're you know out of ammo and you need to reload um but you know it's that's the only thing I, i'm sure it's probably something that needs to either break in a little bit more or um some fine tuning or something like that um uh i'm not sure if i'm gonna look into it or just let it be for now because obviously it's not it's not broken or like causing the firearm to not function um but it is um a little annoying i will admit um safeties is fine trigger has been great um hasn't really hasn't really changed much um since like the, my first couple shots and impressions um since uploading the video i haven't really uh done like extensive competition use with it yeah i've just been kind of shooting in on the range um kind of testing it out um like i said my my buddies that they shot it they they are really impressed with it they really really like the the uh the full steel frame of the 2011 versus like the modern like 2011s like staccato um even like the springfield like the prodigies and um even like triarchs or even those ones where they're all like separate um frames from the slide so they're two different versus this where it's all one piece um which i think i like this a lot better because to me i know it's a 1911 platform but like the weight and just how it's built it's obviously like a classic one but it almost feels like a cz to me and i like cz's a lot um i've shot the the shadow 2 for a long time really really like that um and that's just what it reminds me of obviously i like 1911s better and that's when i saw this i i just had to get it um, because it, it, it works perfect functions exactly how like your typical 2011s and the prodigy just came out. So I, I actually did get the chance to shoot that. And, um, it is a nice gun. Don't get me wrong, but, um, I'd say actually that the prodigy and this are probably the, um, best like budget friendly, uh, 2011 slash double stack nine, uh, nine mil 1911s um because it they're for the price you get like more with you get like more than you pay for um especially with this with the flared magwell and the full rail um that's like huge features because i know even the full rail for most 1911s that's like a huge upgrade um but i I'm, i do like that more companies now are making the full rail like a thing on 1911s um, cause I, I don't like when it has like the very, very short Picatinny rail and then like the, the, uh, the guide rod is just like all narrowed out. Um, this is just better tactical. It's more modern, uh, the 1913 rail, like really makes it, you could throw on anything, uh, especially with this length. Um, you can literally throw on anything. There's no stopping you. Um, accuracy I'm, i'll throw some footage in here as well of me shooting it at um like since my range the, the closest one to my house it's 
uh, indoor, so it only goes down to 25. Uh, post footage of me shooting it there. Um, uh, just to show you guys that, you know, you can get your grouping pretty accurate the, the farther it ranges. Um, but yeah, that pretty much goes for it. I'm just, uh, you know, over the thousand rounds, like nothing's really changed. Um, summary would be just to take a look at that slide. That's the only complaint I have is that it's not locking to the rear. Um, I thought that would change over the break-in, but I guess not. But everything else like functions flawlessly and I'm really happy with it. Um, if you guys can, I would definitely recommend picking this up because um, there is uh, a lot of upgrades that you can do for this too. It's like when you're spending you know, like seven, 800 bucks. That's how much this is worth. Um, seven, 800 bucks for this. And then throwing on your upgrades after that pretty much is like a no brainer versus, I mean, you can buy those if you have the money, of course, you know, if you want to go for the top of the line, go for the top of the line. Um, me personally, I, I would like to get a gun and customize it to what I would like. Um, like the sides or even I know there's a company that does slide cuts on these. Um, they even do like the extractor change out um, trigger. They even add the uh, like the extended magazine release uh, button. So it's like a lot easier to get to get to. Obviously with my long thumbs, I could reach it no problem. So I don't really not uh, don't mind this, but the bigger button is just better. Um, do trigger upgrades. Um, even magazine upgrades where you can get uh, different mags. I know this one takes different mags, like even staccato mags. Um, but yeah, this thing, this thing's a beast. Um, if you're into, you know, especially if you're into like upgrades on guns, if it's like a passion, especially if you're like a Smith or something, um, and you want to do like your own little customs, custom work on guns, this is definitely one for you. Um, cause it's going to perform the same as the other higher ended pistols. Um, but you're doing it cheap and then now you can save more money and put more money into the upgrades of the pistol so um it's more to your liking like i've seen a lot of people change out the trigger with a flat trigger um even different magwells or anything like that so sights i even see people mill them out to where you can get a red uh, they put a an optic on so um yeah that pretty much sums it up uh if you guys can pick it up i would recommend it highly highly recommend it um it's pretty much shot every ammo I've shot and I've shot uh, crappy re repacks on it too and I've had no stoppages. So um, it runs pretty much everything. The only stoppages I've had were um, magazine issues, which it wasn't because of the magazine. It, it was how they were not like they weren't seated properly. You know, you take it out, give it a smack, put it back in and they, they ran they ran through no problem. Um, so that's pretty much the only like negatives that it came with was just the slide um but that's pretty much it thanks for watching guys um like and subscribe uh if you want more videos on this i know there's not a lot of videos on these um if you guys want to see more on the rock island um uh, let me know in the comments and i will post plenty of videos i will post as many as i can uh because like i said i know when i'm before i even knew about this i have i was looking all over the place to find reviews of this and you know just people to give like you know, opinions about um so i do like people's input um just to see what's up because obviously i do like improving the channel for you guys so please let me know in the comments Alrighty, thanks for tuning in guys peace